Hi everyone, it's MJ. I'm back. Finally, with an overdue video of how I made um, these uh, small envelope uh, folio that I promised you a couple of weeks ago. I want you to know that I have, I tried like three or four times to record it and I was just having a lot of technical problems with my memory card and all kinds of other d different issues that I'm not going to waste time on explaining but I want you to know I did try and then I have very I've been very busy so that's another uh, reason but I did try uh, a week ago I did try um, really really hard so anyways I just want to know I hope um, how are you all doing I hope you're all been doing good um, staying home and uh, staying safe and doing a lot of crafting so let's get started okay uh, we're going to need like I said five or six small envelopes now you can use um, whatever style of envelope um, that you want to use um, on this one I use the envelopes um, they're from Mead with the self adhesive you know with it has that little um, the flap over okay this is one of the envelopes where I try to do my video um, filming it and it just didn't work out but I ran out of them so the ones that I'm using um, are these. They're also for meat. I got them at the Dollar Tree. Um, they're the ones that you have to lick to close them, and they have the uh, the triangle flap versus the um, the flat short flap with a self adhesive, and it, it really doesn't matter. Okay, whichever style um, you use uh, works fine. So, let, grab five or six of them, and let's get started. Hi, Frankie. Hi, Elena. Hi, Mamas. Hi, girls. Jenny, Aileen, how you guys doing? And to all my new subbies, and to all my existing subbies, hello. Now, if there's a shadow, it's because it's kind of overcast, so it's not really, really bright. So, I hope the video turns out okay. But to get started... The first thing you're going to do is, let me set this aside, and where's my glue stick? Oh, here's my glue stick. You're going to get two envelopes, and, uh, and we're going to uh, seal them closed. I'm not going to lick it, so I'm using my uh, glue stick. So you're going to get envelope one, and let me number them, one, and envelope two, okay, set that aside. You're going to get envelope number one, and you're going to score uh, three quarters of an inch. Um, let me see, what side do I prefer? Yeah, it doesn't matter, I guess. There was a few times that it did matter. In this case, I guess it doesn't matter. Okay. You're going to score um, on the left or on the right, doesn't matter, as long as it's a, you score at three quarters of an inch. Since I'm going through several layers because of the flap, I want to make sure it scores right. One of the things I did notice, some of these envelopes, even though they're supposedly um, all the same size, I found out there's a little bit of a difference in them. 
so but it still works out okay okay so three quarters of an inch okay so you're gonna get and then let's fold this down We'll work with envelope one and two first. Okay, on envelope number one, what you're going to do on the side that uh, we scored and we folded in, you're going to um, miter the corners. Like so. Okay, so that's what we have. And then, and because I'm not so good at cutting, I'm going to cut a slither. So I'm going to cut a slither to open this side up, okay? And just a slither, just so that we can open that up. So it's very little. So this is what we have, okay? So then you're going to bend one side up and to the front and one towards the back, like so. Good thing I have long nails, so they work well as um, as my bone uh, so this is what we have okay and now we are going to open this side up and we're going to cut a slither and we're still on envelope one See what I mean? They're not all straight. So it didn't really cut. Hopefully it did cut the end. If it doesn't, I'll just use my scissors and open this up. Oh yeah, one thing you're going to need, guys, is a nice pair of sharp scissors with a nice small point. Okay, Not really small, but small. I think these are like 4 inches. So now this is what we have in envelope number one. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside and we're done with envelope one. And now with envelope two. Since this is going to be the flap for the front like this we're going to make a pocket up here so we're going to cut a slither right on top of envelope two okay okay so this is envelope two and this is what we have and that's all we do with number two. Okay? Now with envelope number three, we are going to seal it closed as well. Let me number this, number three. And what you're going to do, you're going to need a ruler and a, and a pencil or a pen, um, whichever you prefer. On the left-hand side, you're going to make a small mark of a one and a half. Okay? And then on the right hand side 
I'm going to make a mark at two and three quarters. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use our paper cutter and we're going to cut in a diagonal from left to right. And that will be for number three. What I'm doing is I am doing like the prototype that I made here. Because on my actual one that I showed you, I didn't use the other side of this envelope because I didn't want to cover up this pretty paper. So in, instead, and you can do that too, okay? Instead, I did um, two pockets here on the side with the paper and I just used a paper punch and I made um, a small um, a punch to indicate that there's a pocket and I just put glue right in the middle to create the two pockets but I am going to create work on creating my prototype where I did use the the envelope number three I did use the whole envelope and this one here I only used this part of the envelope so we're gonna cut from angle to angle from the left one and a half to the right uh, two and three quarters So now you end up with this. Okay, that's envelope number three, and this is three. And that's all we, we're doing on number three for now. Okay, so we're going to set that aside. And on envelope number four, what we're going to do is... Um, Okay, so this is envelope number four. We are going to, from the original fold of the envelope, okay, right here, we are going to score maybe like a sixteenth of an inch just to create a small gusset so that we can give room for the little, um, for the uh, pages, for the, you know, that we're going to um, hand stitch inside, okay, for our um, journal pages. And you don't have to be exact, just a little, um, just make sure you do keep the envelope flat flush. So um, when you do your score line, you, you, you end up with an even line. So I'm just kind of eyeball it. I'm not really measuring. The only thing I do realize is these envelopes, they're not really made really that straight. So I'm going to use this here as my guide to make sure the envelope is straight. Okay. Yeah, they're not, they're not made very well. That's probably why they're at the 99 cent store. They're not made even. So I'm going to create a little gusset on the envelope. So from the back of the envelope, this is what we have. Just a small gusset. And then we're going to fold where we just scored so then this is what we have okay like a sixteenth of an inch gusset right here that's envelope number four and that's all we're doing on envelope number four now for envelope number five Envelope number five, we are going to seal the envelope. And we are going to uh, 
open it up on the right hand side so we're going to cut a small slither on the right side of the envelope and it doesn't matter really what side you know it's okay as long as we have an opening on one one side so for envelope five okay this is what we're doing on five now for envelope six oh it's not gonna work on this one it does make a difference on envelope six that that it needs to be it's been a while so I'm gonna use one of these that has this kind of uh, closure okay for envelope six so it's been a while since I you know I decided to um, to make this tutorial so um, so I guess it does make a difference for this project if you want to do it like the way I did it. It has to be um, this kind of closure. So I apologize for that. So we, on envelope six, you um, at two and a quarter. I'm sorry, at two and a half. This one I already had pre-scored because that was one of uh, two and three quarters. Excuse me. At two and three quarters, you're going to score the envelope. Okay, you don't seal the envelope. You just score it. Okay. And that's all the scoring for now. So on envelope six, what you need to do is get your scissors and on on the flap right where the score line is at just follow the score line and then cut straight down to the original fold of the envelope there okay so this is what we have on envelope six okay and then what I did I try to mimic this side of the flap um, so what I did I did this I gently fold it over and I got my pencil I think it's better if I do this so I can see what I'm doing and then I traced and then I did the same thing over on this side don't fall hard that you make them that you mark the envelope just enough so that um, okay so you have this kind of marking on it and then you get your scissors and then you follow your tracing mark They're not going to be exactly alike, of course, but at least we have a little bit that resembles the other side. So this is what we have, okay, for envelope six. Now at this point, before we put it together, if you want to distress your edges i recommend that you do that now before before uh we put it together and we start um adding our paper our you know our designer paper or digital paper or whichever um paper that you choose to use to make this um it's up to you today i'm going to use um a paper collection it's not a digital um, it's a paper pad that I bought at Michael's in January when I went to go visit my sister yeah 
prior to COVID in January, I visited her uh, in Texas. So we stopped by McD uh, McDonald's, <laughs> Michael's. I am not hungry, so, and I don't really care for McDonald's, so I don't even know why he said McDonald's. Uh, um, at Michael's, I bought this paper pad because it, they had them on sale for four ninety nine, and I only bought this paper pad because I really don't need any more paper. But the only reason why I buy it, I just saw a butterfly here in the front. I go, okay, that's it. I'm taking this one. I didn't even bother to flip through it, but um, yeah, this is some of the paper that it has so I'm using um, some of the paper not all of it because you don't really need a whole lot okay so I chose a few of them and it has um, one of them does have um, like a black background um, let me see if I can find it not this one but well I'll show you a sample this I chose one of these papers and because it has uh, the black on it, and I've been wanting to use, you know, something with black because super nice. Um, Maribel from uh, Marabella's Creations, that's her business name on Instagram. She does have a YouTube, but she does not do videos. She has a store on Instagram, uh, Marabella, and that uh, she gifted me. If you saw a video, she gifted. This is part of some of the stuff that she sent me, the lace that she sent me for my birthday. So hi, Marabella. Hope you're doing well. So I want to see if I can use the this black trim because I think it's so pretty. So that was the inspiration to use uh, the paper. So, because um, some of the paper has um, black, I'm going to distress my project with um, the Archival Ink by Rangers, which is the watering can. Um, I'm not going to use uh, straight black uh, ink. I don't particularly like the black ink um, for distressing. I like... This is what I used when I made my my very first um, laptop book that um, to participate in um, Carol's Tinson um, giveaway. The anniversary, I think, it was for her twenty fifth twenty five thousand subbies or twenty thousand. I can't remember, but um, so I use this is what I use on the distress. So. I'm going to concentrate mainly on the inside part of the page, uh, the envelope because that'll be once we put it together it's going to be kind of hard to get into the small crevices um, when distressing it so I'm going to continue to distress this because I don't want it's like watching um, paint dry or grow watch grass grow if you watch me so I don't want to spend 20 minutes of uh, distressing on on videotaping it so let me do this and if you can do that yourself and then meet me back and we'll do continue the rest all right so um be back in a jiffy hi guys so I'm back so I've already distressed all my envelopes so uh, let me get started on how we put it together. Okay, so here's envelope number one, and then we need envelope number two. First thing you need to do been a while since I used this glue so I think it probably dried up a little bit in there okay, so I won't lose it so I'm um, this is your envelope one the opening is here on the on the left you're gonna put glue on this top um, 
actually we're gonna put glue like this on the inside i'm sorry on the inside You know what? I'm going to use my tacky glue because that's taking forever. So I'll use tacky glue. It works just as good. I'm going to spread it so that we get an even uh, adhesion. So I can wipe my glue. So get envelope number two, and we're going to glue it to the front. Oops, I did it backwards. Like this, guys. Don't do. It. Make sure the opening is on the top. Okay. Good thing I remembered. So it's been a while since I put it together, so. I'm having a hard time here remembering. Guess I should have um, gotten myself together before doing the video, but okay. Okay, so number envelope number two is right here, and the opening is on top. Okay, and number one is right here, and then so this is going. To be the uh, cover the flap of envelope number one, the number two. Okay. Now we're going to bypass number three for now, and we are going to get envelope number four. Okay, the one that has the little gusset here. Okay. We are going to glue this. The, the second flap of envelope number one to envelope number four. But before we do that, we need to seal this up. So I'm going to run a thin bead of glue down to seal envelope number one. So this is what we have. Now I've sealed the envelope on one. Here's envelope number two. And this is the bottom portion of envelope one. So yeah, I'm going to glue it like this with this flap, um, this opening here, an envelope four downward. Okay, make sure that the envelope is not this way. We want the little gusset here. So make sure the gusset is facing down. And I was just thinking that I didn't distress the inside here. And I think I'm going to do that because it's going to be pretty tough distressing the inner part of this envelope um, once we put it all together. I don't know if it's going to make a big difference or not, but just in case, I'm going to do that. Okay. Okay. Okay, here's one, here's two, and here's the flap of number one. So we're going to add glue. I distressed this side instead of the inside here because I forgot that we put it together. Envelope number four, like this. So let's put glue on the outside part of the uh, the flap. 
on number one. So spread the glue so that we have even. Now we get envelope number four. So this is what we have so far. Here's one. Here's envelope number two. That goes over like that. Here's envelope number four. The front of four and the back of four is right here. Okay. Okay, now we go, we get envelope number three, the two parts of number three. And then we, because obviously we use part of the envelope to create the flap cover that from window from envelope two that goes over envelope one so now it's more narrow so what I'm gonna do is measure this part that I'm gonna place here I'm gonna draw a little line so I'll know where to cut get my paper cutter And discard this you don't need it then we go into glue this close because obviously we trimmed it off so it opened up the side and I don't want the side open I want the, the right side to be sealed so what happened here Some glue to close this up. And then I'm going to distress the top part on the side that I just trimmed off. So the small part of envelope number three is going to go on the uh, back side of envelope two but i'm not going to glue that on just yet because i want to put some designer paper here so i think what i'm going to do is probably put some glue here not all the way down so that i'm able to insert the uh, the paper the designer paper like so so there's it's not all it, I didn't seal it all the way down to the bottom so that when I put my designer paper you know, like so I'll be able to um, hide it underneath there just a tad okay. and the same thing I'm gonna do on this this the other part of envelope number three okay I'm going to put glue, but not all the way to the top, just so that I have a little wiggle room to insert uh, my designer paper. And this will create a pocket on, on the front side of envelope four. Because this is four right here. And here's three and part of three. Okay, so now this is what we have. One, two, 
pocket this goes like that and three got a pocket here and then we have a pocket why is this sealed i must have gotten glue in there okay so we have a pocket here okay an envelope four and here's envelope four we're going to put some paper here and so this is going to be another pocket now we get envelope five and we are make sure that the slit is on the right side not this way to the right side okay and we are going to glue this right next to the small um this the uh the 16th of an inch score that we made to create the little gusset here okay we're going to glue that right before the fold so it'll be able to fold this over so we're going to glue this Gusset right here. Okay. We have envelope five. So let's press really well to make sure it's adheres well. And now envelope number six okay, is going to go around. Oh, sorry, like this. See, it's been a while. <laughs> Since I made this like that, and then so what we're going to do is we're going to create another pocket here. So we're only going to glue on the sides and a little bit here, but I guess we really don't need to, okay? Just on the side, and then on this opposite here, we have a little pocket, but we're also going to have a pocket on top. So we're going to put a little glue the sides as well only. So I'm just going to put some glue. on the bottom part of the envelope like so and like so you know what I forgot I'm gonna remove some of this glue here because I want to make sure I have room to insert some of that paper, designer paper Isn't that even? Okay. So this is envelope six. And this is the back of five. And this is envelope six. So now we have a pocket here and a pocket on the left side here. And on the inside of envelope five, we have a pocket here and a small pocket in the inside of the envelope. So that's how we put it together. Now the fun part is embellishing it. So you can 
stick around and watch me embellish this if you like. I think this is even. Move this a little bit. There, okay. It's just been a while since I made it, so it's kind of hard to remember every step. So, I already have prepared ahead of time some of the um, papers that I want to use, so hopefully I'll remember. I think I, some of them I did label what I wanted for what envelope. So, on this envelope one, where's my, let's see, what did I decide to go? And use because I don't remember. Like I said, it's been a while. Okay. I think I got it. One, two, three. Okay. So what do I have? Front of envelope one. So this I want here. But I have to decide uh, what kind of closure. Yeah. I think I cut it a little bit too small, but I know what. I'll just put some lace. So I can use some of this lace, I think. Can I? Well, maybe not. Okay, let me see. I think I'm gonna darken the ends a little bit more. Yeah, I was trying to spare you from watching me distress the ends here. You still get to watch me do some of it. Okay. Um, guess I didn't think about the closure. Um, I guess I'll use some Velcro again. I mean the Velcro tabs. Mm. Oh, I got a button here. the closure can even make another pocket right here huh maybe I'll do that I think I need to trim this off just a tad because it's a little too long some of the white off the edge here. Like so. Hmm. And this Flat one goes here. 
And that one's for flap two. Inside flap. Oh. I don't remember what I was going to do. And what is this? Top of oh, I think I was gonna use this here. And then this. See what happens when it's been a while since you planned this? So um okay. I'll do that, but that still doesn't solve what am I gonna use for closure. I do like this button here for some reason. It's just here on my and happens to be black. Huh. Okay. I do have my needle here. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make a pocket because um I want to make, reinforce this, so I'm going to have to glow this on if I'm going to put a button. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to make a pocket in the front like I thought earlier. I wonder if this is long enough for me to sew. the center I think I want that there, the center. I'm using that marking. Sorry if I'm quiet, I'm concentrating because obviously I didn't think this through too well. I just thought I had everything and forgotten what I was planning on doing. Okay. Set my needle there so I don't have to go and search for it. And I'm going to tie a knot. This is wax linen thread, so um, I love the wax linen thread because it kind of gives you like a third hand. You don't have to be holding your uh, your thread. I mean, it stays, um, stays put. So now I'm going to trim this off. I think I'll leave some of those strings um, kind of long there in the front. So now I'm going to glue this. Sorry if I get off frame. Spread the glue here so I don't have any blank spots on the paper or at least you know somewhat spread it nice and even
There's my paper, my napkin. Where is it? Oh, I don't know what I did. Oh, here it is. Wipe my hands. Okay. That's a good thing about um, the tacky glue. It gives you room to play around. If I was using the um, glitter glue, Oh, you know what? I think I want to move this up a little bit more. I think it always set. Oh, well, okay. We'll just leave it like that, I think. Is it a little? Yeah, it's a little lopsided. Uh, Then what I want to do here um, in the front, I'm going to use, uh, this is, a, I think it's a one and a half, one and a half uh, circle punch. And I'm just going to do a little notch here to indicate that it's a pocket. Like so. I think I'm going to have to put some, um, a little bit of designer paper on the inside there. See what I mean? The envelopes are not exactly um, cut straight. So you're going to have some variance. And because I already have pre-cut this, it's kind of late for me to, you know, um, for me to even it out. I wish I remember what I wanted to do. Okay. So. I think what I use that to hold this down. This is, I think is where I want it. Okay, so I'll put some glue. I don't even know what embellishments I'm going to use. But we'll see. Maybe I'll end up embellishing it some other time. But for now, I just... I think I should have put more Distress Ink further down. And I think I wanted this here. So I'll get some glue. I'm going by my little notes that I wrote on the back of each piece of paper that I pre-cut about three weeks ago or so. we have so far. Okay. And then for envelope one. It says here is the back of envelope one. But see how much smaller it is? I wonder what I did. Oh my goodness. Okay, well. Maybe these envelopes are a little bit bigger than uh, the first ones that I used. Because the first ones that I used uh, were the ones with the uh, the flap 
closer. They say in the package they're the same size, six and a half, three and five eighths by six and a half. So maybe in this one I can use this lace. I don't know. What do you think? I'm going to have to cover that up for sure. Somehow. It says inside flap. Well, what if I put this here then? So, what do I have here? Back of one. Oh, I think I wanted to make a pocket here. I think that's what I was going to do. Not sure. What is this? Envelope, front envelope two, and back of envelope. Okay. So that goes there, and this was for here. Well, this sure is turning out a mess, huh? <sighs> oh, wait. This is for that. So this one is for four. for that so then this is for here I guess that's what I wanted to do I don't remember some black thin oh I do that my sister gave me she gave me all different colors of um, of um, laces and, and she said how come I didn't get more when I got some she just said help yourself and I think I do have a thin uh, black um, lace that I'll be able to use this to compensate for the paper that it's thinner than the width is not quite as wide as it should be. Okay, envelope two in the front envelope. Look like this. Back inside. I don't know. So this goes here then. Okay. Okay. So my um my daughter's in laws there's five grandkids on hers. Um, my brother, my son-in-law's uh, side of his family, and because they didn't allow uh, any kind of carnivals for Halloween, 
um, because of COVID, of course. Um, my daughter's sister-in-law, she doesn't have any children, but she sees her uh, nephews and nieces like her grandkids. And I'll tell you, I'm just amazed at her, that she, all the work she did. Well, her other sister helped as well. She's the one that has a little boy and a little girl. And then um, her brother, the youngest brother's wife, oops, um, she helped. They did all these different carnival booths They for the kids only, just the grandkids in the house. And... They did, um, they're so creative. I, I was really impressed. They had a shooting target and, um, um, and they all, it was all made out of scratch. It wasn't like a store-bought, um, stuff that they that they made. Everything was made out of cardboard, a wood, um, rope, whatever they had in hand, whatever they could get their hands on around the house. And, the, and um, okay, this, oh, this is up here. Okay. Um, they made all these they made out of a box a little um like a decorated a pumpkin with a mouth open so that was um for um, hole in one uh, golf they did buy you know the plastic balls and and the and the um the uh, golf uh, stick i think they all that supplies all this other stuff that they didn't build, um, were bought at Dollar Tree, and, um, so maybe I'll make a pocket out of here, too. I think I'll make a pocket. There'll be a pocket on top, and then a pocket here on the side, since I have this opening here. Might as well take advantage of that. But, um, okay. I'm not going to glue the top because I want to punch a hole. Not a hole, but a little notch on top. And they, then they had this, like a Frankenstein, everything, like I said, big cardboard boxes. I guess they were like Amazon boxes, because they use Amazon a lot, just like I do. And I don't know what application um, my son-in-law's uh, sister used. Um, it, was, it was a Frankenstein made out of construction paper in front of, of a box covered. Uh, with black construction paper, or I think it was painted, spray painted with um, black. Um, kind of make a notch here, but I think I accidentally blew this. Well, I sure did. made a hole right here. I think I'm going to have to cover that up. Boo-boos, all the boo-boos. Well, anyway, she had an uh, application that every time you put your hand through the mouth of Frankenstein, it made this monster sound. She had her uh, cell phone hooked up to it. And um, they even had carnival tickets, 
and at the end um and then also like a ping pong you know bucket you threw the ping pong and if it, if it fell on one or two or three then you get three tickets or two whatever and then another one where they got these little buckets there were like six buckets and they put some rocks to keep them from tilting over and it was one two three four five six so if then you threw a, a bean bag into it. If you got into a two, you got two tickets. If it fell into a three, you got three tickets and so forth. And at the end of the night, the kids, whatever points, tickets, tokens that they won, and they also got one. If they didn't make it, they got one for trying. So they, um, they were able to buy a lot of cute stuff, you know, candies and little prizes. I'll tell you, that was, I was impressed. They did an awful, I mean, not an awful, they did an awesome job. What happened, Charlie? Did I scare you? Did I scare you, Papa? Okay, guys, you're seeing me raw. I can't seem to get this in here. Let me pause it and see if I can find my other, um... Oh, no, I can't because I already... Already um, punched it. Now this is so you see. Not always do things come out as planned. Obviously, I am not doing that good of a job. And I'm having a hard time. I think I'm going to use my scissors, and since I already, I can follow that little notch there. Do that good of a job. So I'm going to make this a pocket, but because of the notch there, I'm going to have to put some glue on the inside there. do too good of a job trimming this here And then the uh, the grown-ups, after the kids did their playing, we were able to uh, play too as well and earn points and, and, and buy candies with our tokens. So whatever we want, yeah. So it was fun. So I think I'm going to trim this. Better mark it. So I know where to trim it. I'm gonna have to trim. I'm gonna want it even on both sides. Make a pocket right here. Let's 
So now we have a pocket here. Oops, of course it's not glued down yet. But it will be. And what happened to the other piece I said I wanted to put here? Oh, here we go. This here. And yeah, we all wore our masks, and so if we were outside, we have a big yard, and, and since most of us there already had tested, just not that we had any symptoms, but just to be on the safe side, so we all tested negative, so we were being responsible people and just for the kids so that and the kids they had a blast they did and that was the important part is that the kids had fun I'm gonna have to put something in there so this is what we have so far and now here Um, oh. I already had marked this with the um, like that. Mm -mm. One and a half is right here, and two and three quarters is right there. So then this will be for that because I want to put this here. Still a little bit bigger, huh? And then part of this here. I glued it too far down. I didn't want to. That goes here. I think I'm going to have to trim some of this off. Sorry guys, this is a mess. Sorry, and the video is a lot longer than I want it to be. So I don't blame you if in a way I'm glad all these mistakes errors are happening so you can see what not to do okay. 
And now I'm going to put glue. Seal this envelope down. And then this goes here. Hey, I didn't tell you. I can't believe this. My daughter had um, the annual synthesis uh, test done and it revealed the gender. So at the park uh, last weekend, we did the revealing and she opened up the bouquet of flowers underneath. There were some cover strawberry covered with pink frosting so she's having a girl so i'm having a granddaughter so yeah i'm so excited so maybe i'll do this Oh, you know what? I should have done do this part here first. <gasps> oh, well. I'm going to have to figure out what to do here. Because... Well, okay, so we have a pocket here, and then we're going to have a pocket here. I'm going to come back to this afterwards and decide what tape I want to use. Okay, and then for number four... On the notes on the back, it says this paper, so that's what I'm going to use. I think I need to trim off a little bit on the bottom. I'll do it on the top here. Just a tad. So I'm not going to put any glue here because I don't want to close the envelope. I don't want to seal that part. So I'm just going to put glue on the envelope part. But before I do that, I think I want to do a, um, a notch. I'm just going to Guess. Glue this on here.
see what I do wrong. Oh, well. Okay. Now we're on envelope five. Oh, why would I want there that repeating itself? Hmm. This is six for the back pocket. Right there. According to my notes, back of five. Oh, here. That goes there. And this is back of six. Small pocket. That goes here. But see, this is way smaller. Ay, ay, ay. Well, I guess I'll use this. Well, let me finish this, guys, and then I'll get back. I don't want to take more of your time because obviously I didn't have all this planned. And I'll finish this decorating. I think you got the gist of how to put it together was the important part. So not so much of uh, the decorating. And I'll come back and do a flip through. All right. Okay. Be back. Okay, guys. I'm back. I'm done. It took me a little bit longer than I thought. Um, plus, I had to take my son to work. So um, now my hands are full of glue. So here it is. Um, and the closure. I use uh, some of the lace that my sister gave me and I put some elastic here at the end so I didn't do it tight because I wanted to give you know extra room for other stuff if you want to add because the lace doesn't stretch so um, I just made it a little bit bigger so that's what I did for my closure and I put a uh, Velcro tra uh, tabs here. Kind of cover up a little bit what it says here. She wears dew drops. <clears throat> so in here, um, it's not of the, this is it's just a little uh, scratch paper. Um, this is digital paper from Vintage by Me, I think. So I just had a little scrap there, so I said, oh, I'll go ahead and use it. So I put a little bit of um, coffee dyed paper. And I just put a little two pamphlet stitch there. So it would be a little bit extra um, for journaling, writing, taking notes. And on the inside, I made a pocket. And then these two little tags. And I used some... Uh, uh, sorry silk you shine for that and here I did a little uh, belly band because so if you read this love as deep as roots deep as the infinite sky so um, that's the uh, the flap that goes over here yeah. So um, I decided I make like a little belly band and I put this little tag. I didn't put any lace or sorry silk. And I put some more of that um, extra writing space. A tag and then here's a tag. It's a long tag. And I used some of that lace, that pretty black lace that um, Maribel gave me for my birthday. And I put some of that lace that my sister gave me. The only color of lace I used throughout the, the little um, booklet here uh, is black. And in here, a tag. And I try to stay just with the uh, paper collection and then whatever scrap of paper I had, I made tags and what have you. Unless like these were printables that were, you know, fussy cut. 
But these were two tags that I made into one. So that this envelope one, envelope two with a pocket. Oh yeah, I made a pocket, yeah, there, and then a pocket up here. Okay, and envelope three in the back. I decided I put a uh, pink paper. Got some glue here. But, oh yeah. And this just scraps of paper that just go in there. And they do stay there pretty well. They don't, you know, they don't come out that easily. And so you can put um, other stuff there, you know, little notes, receipts, or what have you. And then here on the side pocket, this is also part of the paper collection. And that's envelope. This is envelope three, these two. So this is envelope four on the front. And so envelope four here on the side. So it's the, the pocket. So I made this little um, booklet. Again, um, a little belly band here to hold this tag. And then... I made it smaller so I fold the extra and made a little pocket so I put this here. These are also from the paper collection. So it's a kiss a flower. So that goes there. Oh and here's the rest of that in the uh, in here. Let me just say she wears dew drops as others wear pearls. the whole thing and then um, I made a, out of a scrap I made another little pocket and this is another scrap I just put it there for a little extra there and then a two stitch pamphlet this is just scraps of paper so that's more journaling uh, space there and then here's some more scraps because I have a lot of these cut out scraps and I don't throw them away. I think I pretty much used all my scraps. I think I just have a few. I don't have that many more. And then this one I didn't do that paper clip to hold these. I just left it like that. And so this is envelope 5 and part of 6. If you recall, so we made, I put uh, Velcro tabs. This pocket, I put a little, I made out a scrap, I made a, a tag. And this is so cool, guys. I bought this on Amazon. And uh, you can make them as long as you want. But um, you, the width would have to be one and a half, two and a half, and two inches. So then you, like this is uh, two inches. So you put in your paper right in here on the two inch mark and then you press it and you get this so that's pretty cool that goes there and then this is just one of the cutouts I just turned into a little tag I put a butterfly here and then this one says wings in the sky roots and the ground and then this is again two tags I made it into one so it would be like a little booklet and then I made a, an extra pocket which I didn't plan but I went ahead and made a pocket up here and I used some of that pretty lace that um, Mary Bell gave me I put a little flower there in the center and I did put a little extra tap on top so I could put the lace I didn't want to cover up the butterfly plus it kind of um, sticks out so when you close it you can see the pretty lace on top okay so the back oh yeah and then I made uh, the side pocket here of course and so we have 
This is one of the cutouts too. Breathe in deeply the blossom scent. De breathing deeply the blossom scent. So I made it into a tag that goes in there. And then the back. So this is the back of envelope six. And this is the, the remainder of em envelope five. I mean the back of envelope five. And this is em the remainder of envelope six. So here um, I made these two tags. And this is from Vintage by Me. So I had it. So I go, oh, why not? It has black and kind of a sage green. So it matched. So I used it. So that was the only ones that I used out of that wasn't part of the uh, designer paper or the scrapbook paper. And then this one I just put a little bit of uh, oh, I think of my batteries. I'm losing my battery. So uh, and then here I did a little envelope, little tag, little Velcro here, and then I put a, a bingo card. My battery, my tablet's about to die. So, see you guys. I hope you like this. Give me thumbs up, okay? And leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Take care, okay? God bless you all. Bye.